welcome back. So today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. You guys have been requesting that I do one, so I thought that I would do one today. I literally just rolled out of bed. I always get ready in the morning in my robe because I get makeup on everything that I own. So if I'm gonna get makeup on anything, I'd rather be on this robe versus my clothes that I'm gonna put on next. So I'm just in my robe today, gonna to get ready with you guys. Like I said, I just rolled out of bed. I don't really have a plan for this look besides I wanna go something like bright and light on the eyes and then be more skin focused. So that is my plan as of now. So I'm gonna start off with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer to prime my eyelids. I sound really hoarse this morning. It's like super humid out, but it's not like really hot. Plus I just woke up, so my throat is kind of like raspy. So I'm sorry if that's super annoying. So I'm just gonna go in and prime my eyelids quickly with this. I like using this concealer or just the concealer in general just because I get coverage. It also makes my eyeshadows last a little bit longer. I don't have too much planned today besides coloring eggs with my little cousin. Tomorrow is Easter, so I'm gonna get him and he's gonna color some eggs with me. I have these really pretty glitter ones. Even though he's a boy, I'm gonna make him do the glitter ones because I think they're pretty. Is that bad? And then I have to run to the tree store to get stuff to make for Easter tomorrow. I'm not sure if you guys will actually see this video um, until like a week after Easter, so I hope you guys all had an amazing Easter. And I'm just cleaning up under my brow really quick just because I really need my brows threaded badly. That's the only thing I have planned today besides filming these videos um, is, you know, coloring Easter eggs, maybe working in the yard a little bit. I sound so old, I know. But that's honestly the only thing I have planned today as of right now is to color Easter eggs and go to the grocery store. So I don't want this to be like too dramatic or anything because I'm just going to be hanging out around home. So now I'm just gonna take a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. And this is actually one of the Sigma Travel brushes. I have the full size version right here, but sometimes I just like to use the little mini ones. So I'm just gonna take this and pop this throughout my crease. I literally use this shade like every single day. I went through two of them in my lifespan because I love this color that much. It's like the perfect, semi-warm transition shade. You guys will have to tell me how you like, like just get ready with me's versus like a more like structured tutorial. I feel like these are a little easier to do because I can just turn the camera on and you know, get ready. But I also feel like it's harder to edit because I talk way too much. Or I have the other problem of not knowing what to talk about and I just like focus on doing my makeup and forget to talk. So you guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments which one you prefer to see. So I think I wanna add a little bit of a cool tone to this look today. So I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. I really like these actually. Not so much the glitter side, but I love the other side of it that I'm gonna to use today. This one is in the shade Topaz Twinkle. I also have another one in there that's kind of like a rose gold, which is really pretty. But I'm gonna use this one today. I'm just gonna pop it right on my lid. And then I'm just gonna go in with my ring finger and pat it in. Then I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of that peach smoothie and that same brush that I used at the beginning and just blend it through my crease. And then I think I'm gonna take the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm gonna grab the shade that's at the very top right here, this larger one. It's called Coconut Cream and I'm just gonna pop this under my brow, so the highest point of my brow bone. And I'm just using a flat shader brush. This one's by MAC, this is the 242. And I'm just gonna let my eyeshadow dry on my lids and just comb through these crazy brows that need threaded so bad. My brow hairs grow so fast. I wish my hair grew as fast as my brows grow. That would be great. <laughs> but that is not how it works for some reason. Speaking of hair, I wanted to share this with you guys because it was something that I was so insecure about for the longest time because I felt like nobody else had it. So I finally just got it waxed. I had been contemplating on doing it for so long because I thought it would grow back like super coarse and hairy. Um, so hopefully it doesn't do that, but I'm so happy that I ended up doing it. So I actually wasn't gonna tell anyone because really you can't notice unless I have my hair up or like I really pointed out to you guys, but my hairline was super low, like right on the side. I'll probably insert a picture so you guys can see, but I had hair growing like right to here which was so annoying and so gross to me. I was like, why in the world 
does my hair grow like that? But I have had that for so many years. I remember I got married five years ago this year and I even had that on my wedding day. And looking back at pictures, I'm like, I cringe because I hated it so much. But recently the hairs that were actually there started growing longer, like, you know, my actual hair. And I don't know, it just was really gross to me. So I finally got a wax and I'm super happy because I feel like I have like a brand new neck. So I'll insert a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but I guess it's not that uncommon. I actually Googled it and I know like Kim Kardashian even had a problem with hair growing right here. And then she had tons of baby hairs right here that she's got laser done on. So, I mean, it's not that super uncommon and crazy. I just didn't like it, so I got it off and I'm so happy. And something else that was super annoying every time that I would put self-tanner on, it would always get stuck in those hairs and turn them orange, which was like the most annoying thing. So anyways, I'm really happy that I got it done. I thought it would share with you guys. So if you guys have like a hairy neckline, don't worry. You can get it taken off with wax. I did, I was brave, it works. The thing that's even weirder about it is that I honestly like never have to shave my legs because my leg hair just doesn't grow. Like on the rest of my body, my armpits, anything, like my hair does not like grow um, or it grows really, really slow. So that was what was so weird about me having like this patch of hair right here. So bizarre. And I'm gonna go ahead and move on to foundation, but I am gonna be doing a review on this. So I'm gonna go film that part of the review and then I'll be back to put the rest of my makeup on with you guys. All right, so I just went ahead and applied this foundation in the other video that you guys will see very shortly. So this is the Glow Minerals Luxe Liquid Foundation. Be on the lookout for my full thoughts on this, but that is what I have on my face right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some under eye concealer. I'm gonna be using the Milani Retouch Plus Erase light lifting concealer and this one is in the shade 02 light so i'm just going to apply this right under my eyes this is such a great concealer for brightening i am like obsessed with this stuff right now i use this every single day and it also has a pretty decent amount of coverage i would say like a medium coverage to it which i think is a perfect combination with this foundation that i have on and i'm just going to take the beauty blender and blend that out And since this concealer was a little light, I am going to apply a little bit to my chin, a little bit on my nose, and right in the center of my forehead, just to balance things out a little bit. So you guys seem to really like my nail video that I did. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll link it down below, but it's how I get my nail polish to last around 14 days. Usually 12 to 14 days is how long I can get it to last with that technique that I do. So I will link that video down below, but a lot of you guys have already tried it and said that it works great. So I'm so glad that that video helped you. You know, it was a little something different, not so makeup related. I was talking more about, you know, nails and home decor, obviously that's not makeup related. Um, but I'm glad you guys like them. And a lot of you guys have already went out and picked up that fiddly fig tree that I mentioned in the home decor haul, which I'm so glad because it was such a great deal. And even a couple of you guys said that you got it for 60% off, which is an even better deal than when I got it for. I got it 50% off. So that's awesome. And it looks like super, super real. I love it. So I'm glad you guys like those two videos. So please never hesitate to let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see here on my channel because I obviously want to do what you guys want to see. I got carried away with talking and forgot to tell you guys what I was doing. So I went ahead and just set my under eyes with the MAC Emphasize Pro Powder, which is very white and brightening. So that is what is under my eyes. Lately, I've been actually setting my face again with the um, Hourglass Ambient Diffuse Light Powder. I really like this powder just because it doesn't change my foundation at all, but it gives a little bit of glow. So I guess it does change my foundation a little bit but not anything crazy and it doesn't add you know coverage or anything like that but it just sets my makeup in place so that when i go in with bronzer it doesn't you know like mess up my foundation at all so i've been using that again and i really really like it it's also a really great powder for under your eyes if you are someone that's prone to creasing under there this is a really good one without looking like start white like the emphasized powder that i have under my eyes today now i'm going to go ahead and go in with my highlight i'm going to be using this eyeshadow as my highlight today this is the maybelline single eyeshadow in the shade the glow down i believe i don't have the name of it on here anymore it was right here and it ripped off so i will locate it and leave it in the description bar down below but this is what i'm going to be using as my highlight it's absolutely gorgeous you guys will see in just a minute i heard so many people on youtube talking about this so i picked it up in my drugstore haul and I have been using this every day. And I've been doing my highlight before I go in with bronzer and I really like the effect that I've been getting from doing that. I just feel like it's a lot more blended and I don't know, I just really, really like it. So that's what I've been doing lately. Put it on my finger and put it on my cupid's bow. Just 
sprinkle a little bit on my forehead. I don't like to do too much, but I like there to be a little light reflection up there. Look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that intense? This is really good, you guys. I think this is $3, and obviously it's a drugstore, so you can pick it up. CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, anywhere, basically. And it is such a beautiful, like, super finely milled highlight. I love it. Now I'm going to add a little bit of definition with the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I love the contour shade in this because it's more yellow base versus red or orange or even green. It has more yellow in it, which I think is really pretty on my undertone. And it's even warm enough to where you could use this as a bronzer and not only a contour if you do have lighter skin. And instead of going in like too, too crazy with my bronzer lately, what I've been doing is like kind of a light layer like I just did. Well, this is light for me. Maybe not everyone, but for me, it's pretty light. And then I'll go in with like a shade like this right here, which is a lot lighter. You can even use a translucent powder if you want to. And then I'll just go in with the beauty blender. I'm actually going to take a dry one. So just this one right here. And then I'll get some powder on one side of the beauty blender like that. And then I'll just kind of carve out. under my contour instead of going so heavy with the bronzer i kind of do like reverse contouring if that makes sense um or this is like my version of reverse contouring i guess and i like the way that it looks a lot better because it still gives me a lot of definition i'm just not using like tons and tons of bronzer and i just take it right under where i want it to be like the sharpest point right there and then i leave this like my natural skin tone or this color of my foundation. And then you can just let that bake for a couple minutes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But since I have a minute, I'll go ahead and just leave it on today and I will move on to, what should I move on to? Go back to my eyes. I wasn't gonna wear false lashes today, but I kind of think I want to now. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Hot Fudge from the Chocolate Bar Palette by Too Faced and an angled brush. And I'm just gonna use that as my eyeliner today before I apply lashes. All right, so now I am gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes. And these ones are the number 90 by Salon Perfect, I believe. I will leave them down below though. I lost a little package, but I will find out for you guys and leave it down below. But these are one of my favorites. Just always forget the names of them. So again, I will just link it down below in case you guys are interested. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these off. I'm using the Revlon Lash Glue. I really like it, but I need a new one. Actually, the only thing that I don't like about it is that it gets all like gooey and gumpy right here at the top, which is very frustrating, but I heard the House of Lashes Lash Glue also does that, so. And that's also in a little tube like this, so it must be something to do with the tube action going on, but that's the only thing that I don't like about this Lash Glue. <laughs> Okay, I lost one of my lashes. Annabelle, have you seen Mommy's lash? Lash, where did you go? Who loses an eyelash? Was it on me anyway? I found it. I'm so excited. It's on the floor, but it was in disguise. I swear I checked that spot like five times, but all I gotta say is I'm glad that I found it. That is real life with me though, you guys. I lose things every second of my life almost. I'm always losing something, always. And then it just magically reappears. Like somebody took it and then brings it back after I'm already frustrated. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this on really quickly. And these ones aren't the number 90s by our, um, not Ardell, Andrea, because I just saw those in my lash drawer. So I will find what these are and link them down below. I know that I mentioned them in my, um, my favorite lash video. So if anything, I'll just go into that video and find out what they are because they are some of my favorites. And I do need to go pick up more in case a tragedy happens like today and I lose one of my lashes again. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up under my eye. I'm gonna smoke it out just a little bit. I still want it to be very light and brightened today. So I'm gonna use, what am I gonna use? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Cream Brulee and just a stiff shader brush. And I'm just gonna pack this really close to my lash line. I'll go back in and blend it out with peach smoothie. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with peach smoothie, like I said I was gonna do. And I'm just going to take this little travel size Sigma brush. I don't know why I like these so much. I just think they're so cute. So I'm gonna use this today. I feel like I have a little bit more control too. And then I'm just going to blend cream brulee out. I think that that looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna take the Tarte Inner Rim Liner and I'm just going to put this all on my inner rim. And then for brows, I'm quickly just going to go through them with this micro brow pencil by NYX. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just dust away that powder that was baking on my face. And I'm gonna add some blush. I wanna keep with this kind of just like bronzy kind of theme on my face. So I'm gonna go in with the NARS Madly blush, which is kind of a, like a rosy bronze. And I'm just gonna pop this right on the sides of my apples. Lips, I'm actually gonna keep it super, super simple. I just realized that I still have to apply mascara to my lower lashes, which I'll do at the end, but I thought I'd just go ahead and get lips out of the way. So I'm gonna use Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury and just basically use this to define my lips because my top lip gets kind of lost. I'm actually not gonna use a lipstick today. I'm just gonna go right in with a gloss. This is the Balm Snap Gloss. This is the Read My Lips Snap Gloss. And I've actually been using this pretty much I would say at least three times a week. I just really, really like it. So it's a very natural kind of like brownie peach undertone gloss, very comfortable. And I just think it looks really, really pretty. I like how it's a nude gloss, but it's not too nude where it looks like concealer lips. And then I'm just grabbing some of my telescopic mascara by L'Oreal, which is my like favorite mascara ever. And I'm going to pop this on my lower lashes. And I just decided I want to take a little bit more of that highlighter that I used earlier on my cheekbones and all over my face. I'm just going to pop a little bit more right on the inner corner of my eye. Just to kind of tie everything all together. All right, and then last but not least, I'm just going to go ahead and spray my face with some setting spray. I normally use Fix Plus because I really like that glowy look, but the foundation that I use today actually makes my skin super glowy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I have sitting right here in front of me, which is what I used before I applied foundation. And this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm just gonna do a couple of spritz of this. So that's it for this look today. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me style of video. It wasn't like anything too crazy to do. I basically only use like two shadows on my lid so that's why I thought it'd be perfect for just like a chill kind of get ready with me video versus a tutorial. But be sure to let me know in the comments which style you guys like better like just a tutorial like get to the point or like just more get ready with me kind of chill videos. Be sure to let me know in the comments, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys had a great Easter. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to subscribe before you leave. I try to make a new video here on my channel every week, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys in my next one, hopefully. Bye.